Whenever you all are ready, <laughs> can you talk through uh, what you made? Yeah, um, we can also like move that paper. It's yes, better this... to see. That was more for. Tech. Oh yeah, that, on yeah. the camera that looks yeah. good. Okay, that looks yeah. good. Okay. Um, so our project is a music visualizer for both an album cover pulled from Spotify API to um, the Pico W, and we also have. And FFT running clearly uh -huh. through the Pico W as well. For a normal Pico. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, so we have like two modes right now. It's in like the FFT mode. Um, we have like a little speaker, so we can run through like a frequency range just to show that the FFT is actually you know, okay. doing its job. Sure. Um, but we mostly just made it because we thought it'd be a fun way to visualize music. Um, we also have like a second mode, which will be using more of our, I guess like a system between our laptop, which sends over data that it collects from Spotify's API um, through UDP to our Pico W. And then from our Pico W, we use UART to actually connect it to our normal Pico. Um, and then we use our Hub 75, I think it's a given Raspberry Pi library uh -huh. to actually connect with our LED matrix and interact with it and light up different things cool. in the picture. Um, so first I can show a frequency sweep from 20 to 5,000 hertz. I just clipped this. Okay. Um, so we'll see like in the hundreds um, to 2,500 um, will be in the middle and then 5,000 will be at the end. Okay. Um, okay. If you can still see that. Yeah. So that's 100. 200, 500, 1K, 2K, in the middle, about 5,000 there. Neat. Um, and then we can also show a song, which yeah. could be fun. Okay. If you wanted to pick, pick a, song, a song, or we <laughs> could pick a song. Mm. Could you do the Cornell alma mater? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's probably not on Spotify. <laughs> probably not on Spotify. Okay, let's see. If not, oh, I don't know anything about Taylor Swift. Taylor okay. Swift, <laughs> we can do that. There we go. Um, so, Cruel Summer, that's right here, I think. So. That's a good beat for that. <laughs> um, yeah. And then we can move on to the actual album cover display. Okay. Yeah. So we just have like a button that should be able to switch it um, to a different mode where I guess both the Picos act as receivers just waiting for data to come through. Mm -hmm. um, we have like a really simple GUI. So one is just like a button which opens your Spotify account. Um, see if it loads. It might be a little slow because I'm on a hot spot right now just to mm -hmm. connect everything. Um, any second. <laughs> we have some colorful album covers, I think. As as that loads. So both the Pico W and your computer are connected to the same hotspot network? Yeah, they're connected network. to the same hotspot okay. right now, just so that they can communicate fairly easily without too much interference and also sure. process of going through Cornell's Wi-Fi. Yeah. Um, sure. And is it UDP communication? Is it's it? UDP communication between our laptop to the Pico W, uh -huh. um, and then everything else should be UART. So gotcha. between the Pico okay. W to the normal Pico. Neat. Um, so to run, our, I guess, our script or like download an album cover, these are like just Python scripts we've had on our background for our mm -hmm. laptop. Um, we should be able to download um, an album cover, and I'll kind of give you like a notification once it does that. And then you can hit this to actually, you know, run the UDP send script, which starts the process from our laptop. Okay. Um, and you'll see like our Pico will stop blinking to actually send. Wow, it to cool. Yeah. yeah, if you want to show the album cover. Yeah. Just for in case. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I can try that. I yeah, can I see it there I'll... in the corner. <laughs> that works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah. You this also... is bigger too. You should there you also go. be able yeah. to, you know, pretty easily switch out either, like, songs. Um, you should just be able to, like, re-download that album cover or, like, the new cover. 
takes it a second again, mostly because of the hotspot. Hot <laughs> so <laughs> when you click that button, it's using the Spotify API to get that yeah. album cover. Yeah, so I think we okay. have a script that pulls from Spotify's API first yeah. and then parses through that data to get just like the hex information for the album cover. Uh huh. Um, and then I think we have one more script that's actually doing that UDP communication of uh -huh. sending it from our laptop. Yeah. Um, to at least so it's it blinking. Up. It was blinking because uh, it was sending, sending, and then it stopped blinking when it received it. Yeah. So this really one nice. is. Uh, I can. Yeah, it might be easier for you to show it up. This one. So. Wow. Cool. Yeah. And then we can also switch back with the button for the uplift. So. Yeah. Was the scaling challenging for the album art? Getting like you know you only have sort of so many, however many pixels that is by however many pixels that is, was it a challenge to get the art to the right size or um, not really? It wasn't too bad. I don't okay. Yeah. 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 I feel like the hardest part was honestly like communications between the different yeah. boards. Um, okay. So especially with like UART, we had issues where we realized that things were not in sync. Um, so we had to kind of piece things together by like adding like headers and footers to messages to make sure that we could detect when a message was being sent and it was being sent in the proper way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it was more challenging for the scaling of this because we just had to cram in a bunch of frequency bins yeah. um, per column. So I think it's uh, like 15 or 16 frequency bins mm -hmm. per. So it's not as accurate as, uh -huh. you know, if we had more. But I think. But it's, it's react. Um, it, it's react. Yeah, that's, it's react. that's cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really neat. Thank you all. Oh, yeah. right. mm -hmm.